Man, I had to find a non-Sony trailer. Let's see if I can turn this up. I had to try to find a non-Sony trailer, man. Sony Sony is tripping when you use their trailers, man. They, they will copyright you to death. But yeah, uh, so, how you doing? Uh, if you would for me, please like, comment, subscribe on the video. Let me drop in some more stuff here, as usual. Doing some catch-up reviews. Uh, a lot of movies that I missed last year. So, um, I, I'm going to have some more uh, coming as well, too. Like I said, and I'll try to um, stay on the new releases because I know I have to see Mad Max. I haven't seen a Mad Max movie in a very long time, so I might just watch all the Mad Max movies building up to the new one, and then I'll um, actually, I don't know if I'll see the new one first, and then I'll build up, but either way, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a Mad Max review up, too, because that just dropped. Um, so, what we have here is, and for those out there blaming Marvel for this one, this is not a Marvel film, okay? This is a Sony film. I, I know you saw Marvel on there, and you're tempted to call it a Marvel film and blame Marvel for this one. This is all on Sony. Uh, so I, I think a lot of you probably already know what Sony, they're, they're movie studio. They had the rights to Spider-Man for the past almost 20 years, actually. Uh, uh, Marvel just secured the rights to, to Spider-Man. Um, the the Spider-Man, Spider-Man movies, now they're coming out, the Tom Holland Spider-Man movies, those are Marvel films. Okay, this is not Marvel. This is Sony. Uh, even though it is associated with, uh, with uh, Sony Marvel. And this, so, so Sony and Marvel have this weird contract to where, uh, in order for, uh, in order for Sony to secure the rights or keep the rights to Spider-Man, they have to keep making these, they have to keep making these side stories. However, they are not allowed to use Spider-Man in any way shape or form they have to they have to use characters that are sort of related to spider-man but they cannot mention spider-man because that would be their breach of contract and marvel can sue them yada 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 all that stuff so now i got that out the way let's get to the review so we got madam webb this is directed by i think that lady's name was cj clarson or something like that which she looks like Madam Web. You know, that was a missed opportunity. Why didn't cast her as Madam Web? How does the director look more like Madam Web than the main actress? I have no idea. But the director should have been Madam Web. I'm just throwing it out there. So, we have this movie uh, brought out by Sony, stars uh, Dakota Johnson, um, and. Also, uh, Sydney Sweeney, and uh, I'm going to have to look up the rest of this because I don't know um, the actors in here. There's a lot of low, uh, uh, low no-name actors in here, actually. The guy who played Uncle Ben in here, I know who that is. I've seen him. Adam Scott, that's his name. That's the guy who played Uncle Ben in here. Yeah, Adam Scott. Uh... So you got Dakota Johnson, Sydney Sweeney, Isabella uh, Merced. Uh, yeah, I forgot Emma Roberts was in here. And uh, Tahar Rahim as the main villain here, Ezekiel Sims. And this movie basically takes place back in 2003. Um, so, I, <laughs> oh my goodness. You know, I'm just going to come out the gate with it. This movie this movie's terrible, y'all. Uh, this, this movie is terrible. Like when the movie opens up, like when your movie opens up and the acting is terrible and the dialogue is terrible, like this movie didn't even wait. You know, I'm, I'm being serious. I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all probably seen this by now, but I'm telling you this movie didn't even wait. Okay. <laughs> to get terrible. It just hopped right in with the badness. So, you know, you got the opening scene with uh, with Ezekiel Sims. Uh, and they're, they're going on. And, and 
Madame Webb's mom, and they're going on this excursion for get the get this these rare spiders that are just hanging out in the wilderness, you know. And uh, <laughs> I guess they they they're supposed to bite and give you powers. At least like at least with the Spider Man, the the original Spider Man story is they were experimenting on a spider and he was radioactive. I can believe as ridiculous as it is it's like okay that's more believable this movie is just kind of like they went out to this wilderness and they found these spiders and then suddenly uh they've got powers which they don't really thoroughly explain um how they got them they're just kind of like look you know she's a clairvoyant or whatever so she can basically so madame webb can pretty much see into the future and then these three girls, they're running away from Ezekiel Sims. And that's basically this movie. Um, there's there's not there's nothing much to this. I mean, it, your occasional, you know, Spider Man Easter eggs, right? You got Adam Scott in here, he plays he plays Ben Parker. Uh Emma Roberts plays his sister in the movie and she's pregnant with uh uh, of course, Peter Parker, which they don't really say it, but we we know we know what it is. Uh, and he's basically this is the plot to uh, this is essentially the plot to Terminator for real. They even have a shot. I swear, it reminded me of Terminator. Terminator is one of my favorite films, so it, it's a shot right where there's this this truck blew up or whatever, and then there's flames everywhere. And he, he's actually walking out like the Terminator. No joke. And it's in slow motion. And I just rolled my eyes and just started laughing. I, I like I, I laughed a lot at this movie because I think I think if there's a movie that broke me, it is Madame Web. <laughs> Madam Madam Web did it. Congratulations. You, you you broke me. Uh they have uh just the, the, the writing. Oh, the writing. This had to have a really terrible budget. This this did not have a high budget. 80 to $100 million. There's no excuse for this when the creator and Deadpool... Because Deadpool only had a $50 million budget and it looks better than this movie. Um, I, I don't understand it. Like, the, the costumes in here look look cheap. They, they, they look like somebody made this at their house real quick. Um, like they just ran out of budget money to actually get get like a, a a Marvel gray costume, so Sony decided to have somebody go home and just just make costumes. Uh, I like I I'm, I'm I'm baffled. You ever watch a movie where now it's one thing if the directors and the writers completely give up on a movie, but at least the actors will try to carry the movie. Um. I don't really, I don't, I haven't really seen too much with Dakota Johnson. I know she was in the Fifty Shades of Grey movies. She played Anastasia Steele, the the main main protagonist, or whatever you want to call her in there. So, I've just never seen a movie where the actors have completely given up. Like, it, like it feels like, it even feels like she doesn't want to be in this movie, which makes sense because she fired her agent for receiving the script to this movie. Like, she knew she was in some BS. She knew she was in some garbage. And because of she fired her agent. And every chance she gets in an interview, she dogs this movie. She knows this movie. Even she knows this movie is trash. Because you can tell. She seems like she's tired. Uh, <laughs> the way she's acting. I know she's supposed to act like that character that doesn't really care. But she's, she's just... Dakota Johnson is tired, y'all. She's tired. You want some coffee? You want some coffee, uh, Dakota Johnson? You want some girl? I got you. I say, yeah. I say, you're a beautiful girl. You, you probably need some. You need some. You need some pick me up because th this 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 was a sleepy performance. She was. She sounded like she sounded more like she just didn't want to be there. Like she was bored. Oh, oh, oh okay. Thing locked up. The video locked up. But, uh, yeah, she seemed like she was bored in this. Like, she just did not want to be there anymore. Uh, I don't know what uh, the trailer went out. 
Oh, that's cool. I'll just try to try to go this way. So I think uh, I don't know. It, it's it's one of those movies that nobody was trying. The, like I said, the writer wasn't trying, the director wasn't trying, the studio wasn't trying, the actors are not even trying. The dialogue is. This is some of the. I said I said Black Adam had some pretty bad dialogue, right? I, I, I said that, that was one of the dumbest uh, movies, um, one of the worst written movies I've ever experienced. This one is up there, too. Oh, my goodness. The writing in this is bad. Um, so the girls, there's a scene. It, it's so bad. There's a scene where the girls have to, they're, they're being chased down by, because basically he's having visions. I didn't even tell you that part of the plot. So the the he's basically having visions of these girls showing up to kill him because he has spider powers too. So so he knows these girls are. He has a vision that these girls are coming to kill are going to kill him eventually. Not they're not coming to kill him right now, but they're eventually going to gain powers somehow, and they're going to kill him too. And they're wearing these cheap party city imitational spider people costumes, and uh, <laughs> it looks bad. And then, and it, if and if you thought like if you ever watched the trailer and you see those girls in costumes, um, that's a five second flashback at the beginning of the movie. I swear it, that's what it is. It's a five second flashback mm -hmm. at the beginning of the movie. What that that shot you saw in the trailer? That's all it is. And then after that, you never see them wear those costumes ever again. So, so that's false advertisement. And then like, uh, and what was bothering me was Dakota Johnson's character. Well, well, they they immediately trust Dakota Johnson. There's a guy running around her spider powers trying to kill them. Dakota Johnson comes into the picture. They have no reason to trust this woman, but they trust her anyway because it's the script and she's the good guy. That's the only reason why they trust her. So they don't even explain what, how they even trust her. They don't even work that in any type of way. Um, they, they don't even show that the guy is trying to kill her too and she's trying to get them off of her. They don't, they don't have any reason to trust her. One of them even says in the car that they have no reason to trust her and they still trust her. And they never build that. Um, and, uh, and, oh my God, this movie's stupid, man. Uh, this, this movie is stupid. They even have, uh, I swear, there is even, I swear, they have a tribe of spider people. They have a tribe of spider people in this movie because she has to go research, uh, how to beat Ezekiel Sims. So, they actually go. She goes to this island where it's like these barbaric, nomadic-looking, like spider people wearing loincloths and the the makeshift spider mask they made out of seaweed or whatever. And then, like in the very next shot, the 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 main guy who is over the tribe, he's wearing like he's wearing like these really nice clothes. <laughs> I'm like, huh? Uh, Oh my goodness! Wow, I I could rant about this movie. I could rant about this movie all day. Uh, there so many so many piss poor mistakes in this. Uh, there, there's no excuse for for how damn bad this writing. Is. This writing is awful, man. It, it's it's probably the worst writing. This really does feel like just nobody cared. Um, again, this is just a product for Sony to shove out. Uh, so that way they can make money, uh, or they they can not even. I guess making money is the end goal, but it's to hold the rights to to Spider Man. That's all it is. And this this and Morbius clearly show because I I did review Morphe Morbius on this channel too. Uh, and uh, oh yeah, and also everyone, <laughs> uh, hats off to Pepsi Cola. <laughs> And, and I'm not even joking about this. Pepsi Cola is a character in this movie. Uh, I don't know how much Pepsi was paying these people, 
I don't know, that, that endorsement check was looking nice because they make it a point in the movie. She's at a, she's at a, she's at a, which would be Peter Parker's mom pretty much. They're at, they're at her baby shower and Dakota Johnson picks up a, a can of Pepsi and she, like, it's the way she holds it. It Like, she holds it to make sure you see it. And I was like, huh, that's kind of weird. You know, that you know, you know, I, I kind of brushed it off. I was like, okay, Pepsi, whatever. But then, like, the big boss fight is underneath a, a, a Pepsi Cola sign. And I'm like, okay, are we, are, we, are we really going here? And then it gets worse. So I, I'm not even going to tell you what it is. <clears throat> and if, and a, a lot of you probably seen it. It's number two on Netflix. And I'm pretty sure people it's, it's that high because people were just like, it was out of morbid curiosity to see how bad it actually was. Because this movie is getting trashed. Uh, I'm looking at the 11% Rotten Tomato score, and I think that's too high. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I think 11% is too high for this. Uh, yeah. I, did, uh, <laughs> did I like this movie? Can y'all tell I like this movie? Yeah. I, um... It's, it, the, the, the terrible structuring of this film, man. The, the structuring of this movie... Is awful. So, it really, you want to know what the structure? You want to know what the writing structure of this movie is? Um. Oh yeah. And there's another thing I need to bring up too in this movie. I'm sorry. This is going to be a decent review. <laughs> I got a lot to say. So, there's a part in this movie where, uh, oh, man, I lost it. I can't believe I lost it. Oh my goodness. Um. Okay, I'll just I'll, I'll bring up my other point then. I, I, there was something else I was going to say. Oh yeah, yeah, the structure of the movie. So the structure of this movie is Ezekiel Sims wants to kill these girls. They fight them. They get beat up. They run away. Uh, Ezekiel Sims finds them with the help of his assistant. She helps. She helps him find them, locate them. He goes. He beats them up, or he goes. He fights them. They get away. Wash, rinse, and repeat. That's the structure of this movie. He chases them down. They somehow get away. He goes to find them. They chase them down. They somehow get away. He goes to find them. It's the it's the same thing. Like this is this is a filler movie. Oh my goodness. And then not to mention uh, Ezekiel's voice. What was that man? Like like I don't know if so. He seems like he's a foreign actor. I don't know if he can't speak English too well. I forgot Mike Epps is in here too. He he's got a small role in here too, but Mike Epps is in here also. I, I just remembered that. But he has it's 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 a, it's like a weird dubbing they did with his voice, and it sounds really bad. It it sounds off, like it sounds cheesy. It sounds corny, and they just gave him nothing but like generic bad guy dialogue. They'll never get away from me. They'll never escape me. They're going to kill me. I have to kill them before they get me. Like this is he, and this is repetitive dialogue. It's a repetitive, generic bad guy dialogue. Like it, it's uh, this movie's awful, man. I cannot believe. You know what? No, it's Sony. I can't. I can't believe they released it because it released Morbius and it released Venom. So I, <laughs> I, I believe they released this. Yeah. I mean, what more can I say about it, man? It, it It's... Yeah, this movie's terrible. Like, she has clairvoyance, but she but she still refuses to stop things. She's sitting up there looking really stupidly and, and never uses her clairvoyance hardly and le- and just lets people die. It's it's dumb. It's dumb, people. Why, why, why would you... Why would you make a movie like this so lazily thrown together i mean i get it it's the it's the same writers that directed uh it's the same writers from morbius uh gods of egypt yeah exodus gods of egypt and dracula untold i get it those are awful movies too so they these guys don't have a good track record already and you know sony got them because they're cheap (laughs) so they, they didn't cost anything they just needed 
they just needed bodies with with brain, uh, somewhat of a brain to to put together a, a script real fast. And then you know you have the director, who she she uh, has a failed uh, pilot to uh, Game of Thrones. So it, it's it's a match made in heaven, man. You know what can I say? I'm sorry, I really ran it. This movie, I was, man, I was thrown off. Like I'm not gonna lie, I was I was shocked watching this. Like this this is. It's amazing how bad this is. This I think this might be the worst movie of the year. I know it came out in February. You know, I know we're we're about halfway through the year, so we still got a lot of movies coming out. You know, we got summer blockbuster. Uh, summer blockbuster is about to hit next month. But yeah, this one. Oh man, I was gonna say low recommend. Ah. Uh, I need to make up a rating that's lower than that. <laughs> oh my goodness! This is it. It's a, I think it's a two-hour movie. It's almost a two-hour movie. So it's 116 minutes. So it's it's almost two hours. Uh yeah. This one was this one was hard to get through. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but at the same time, that was hard to get through. It was fascinating. Like I I I was trying to I was trying to rationalize in my brain. Who in the studio, who in their right mind would make something like this and put it out for public consumption? That is weird to me. Um, it's almost disgusting how bad this movie is and just how much you could tell nobody cared. Yeah. Um, yeah. This this movie is this this movie is shit. It is terrible. <laughs> it is terrible. I uh, man, yeah, I really do not recommend this one. Um, like I said, it's it's number two on Netflix, so I mean, people are watching out of more out of more of a curiosity, see how bad it actually is. So, so maybe in a way, maybe my review is also leaning towards its promotion. <laughs> so, because it didn't do that well in theater, it was a flop. It, it basically just made its money back. It ex it made exactly the one hundred million dollars or eighty million or whatever that they spent on it. It made it right back. So this movie was a flop. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's bad. So I don't know. Uh, I I normally ask <laughs> I normally ask at the at the end of the video if you if you thought I was crazy, you actually liked the movie, but I. I, I don't think I can go with your nestle man. I you you that's an island on your own. <sighs> Deal with that one yourself, so but uh go ahead and like, comment, subscribe on the video and uh, I'll see you in the next review.